Reaching the title of the hardest level in Geometry Dash has always been a highly coveted achievement for many players and creators. The feeling of standing alone at the top, above all other competitors, gives a feeling of satisfaction that can't easily be rivaled. With such a highly competitive market, there's only a few select individuals who have the capabilities of pushing the skill cap ever so higher. In recent months, the rate of skill progression has tapered off, as the human limit for what can theoretically be done is seemingly drawing closer. Back in 2019, the gap between the hardest levels in the game was much larger, and the top 10 would rarely ever shuffle around, and would only change once a new level would enter the mix. The same can't be said today, however, as the top 10 and even top 20 have been changing constantly, making for some interesting discoveries. If a level that was originally placed at number 2 would be moved above the level that was on top later down the line, but with both levels further down the list, then by rule, the level was robbed of a potential number 1 spot, which gives any level exponentially more relevance in the greater community. There are nearly a dozen examples of a level getting robbed of a number 1 spot, so today, let's take a look at each and every one of them. The story begins in 2021, where the hardest level at the time was none other than Tartarus, which holds the title as the longest reigning top 1 in Geometry Dash at over 500 days. There was a big effort to remove the level from its throne, with many trying and failing, or so it seemed. On July 5th of that year, an unknown but extremely talented player by the name of Dice88 would verify a new level aimed to play slightly higher above its predecessor in Cognition, named Oblivion. At the time, Cognition was placed at number 14 on the list, meaning that Oblivion was expected to be placed in the top 15, or maybe even the top 10. The level would be rated on July 7th, and would be placed on the demon list at number 6, above Heart Machine and Blow. Wait. Something's not right here. Yeah, I said July 7th alright. July 7th of 2022. Oblivion would go unrated for an entire year, leaving the entire community on edge. And when the dust settled and the level was given 10 stars to its name, the level would be placed 2 spots above Tartarus, knocking it down to number 8. Had Oblivion been rated on July 7th the year prior, it would have easily slotted in at number 1 of today's standards. Although, I'm not sure if it would have happened right away, considering DICE's opinion about the difficulty more so resembling cognition. But it would have been so interesting to see a level as interesting as Oblivion on the throne, as a level that hasn't received nearly as much hype as other notable levels on this list, such as Sonic Wave Infinity. This level has a lot of history on its own, taking roughly 5 years to be completed from the first prototype. But the more pressing matter to talk about is that this level is freaking hard. So hard, that it went through several verifiers before one was able to keep up with it and finish the job. It was verified by Zanny on May 30th of 2021, just a month before Oblivion, the level would be rated soon after, with the expectation that the level would dethrone Tartarus as the hardest level in the game after over a year. Unfortunately, all hopes of level taking the throne came crashing down, as just hours after the level was rated, it was discovered that there was a crash trigger located 69% into the level, and it was swiftly unrated by Robtop. And that's the end of the story, as Sonic Wave Infinity is known as the level that didn't achieve the throne because of a single crash trigger. Just kidding. It got re-rated a few hours later, the level would once again be set for the throne. However, the month following the verification, several players would make notable progress, with even a completion thrown in as well. The supposed hardest level in the game was being just a week after its release. With the opinions from Rith and other notable progressors, Sonic Wave Infinity was placed at number 3, below even the Golden, becoming the first change to the top 5 in over a year. Months would pass, but eventually SWI would be moved up to number 2. But after that, both levels would fall down the list, and at one point, the levels were several spots apart with SWI looking like a failed top 1 with each passing month. But slowly but surely, the gap would close, with Tartarus tumbling down the list, and finally, on May 10th, just a week after making this video, Tartarus was lowered to number 20, putting SWI on top of the two levels that it bested years ago, making it a top 1 by technicality. Another unknown projected top 10 is True Effect, which was verified by Beirut just a few weeks after Oblivion, and was projected to be a solid addition to the bottom half of the top 10. However, after receiving the rate that Oblivion was robbed of for over a year, the level was placed all the way at number 3, above the Golden, only behind Sonic Wave Infinity and Tartarus. This order would remain consistent when Slaughterhouse and Firework were added to the list, but shortly after the two were placed, True Effect would be moved above Sonic Wave Infinity, putting it one spot below Tartarus. Just 6 days after that, True Effect would move up to number 3 again, restoring its original placement and putting it above Tartarus, like every other level in question. However, what separates True Effect from the other Rob Top 1s is that it wouldn't hold its title as a Rob Top 1. As just 2 months later, this change would be reversed, pushing Tartarus above True Effect once again, and this trend still stands to this day. So is True Effect robbed of a Top 1 spot? By technicality, yes, but if we're going by today's standards, then it wouldn't be as it's still below Tartarus. This is, and still is today, the only Rob Top 1 to later go down the level that it was originally above, so it's an interesting case to divulge in. But next up, we have one of the most controversial cases of a Rob Top 1 of all time. Firework was advertised one of the hardest levels ever, 
and was one of the first levels to be unanimously considered to be harder than Tartarus when it was finished. A lengthy verification process would take place, but ultimately, it would be Trick who pulled through after over 200,000 attempts. Firework is known for being a part in the massive rate wave, where the level, along with two other top 5 demons in Slaughterhouse and Arcturus, were all rated at the same time. Well, not exactly at the same time. You see, Firework was rated 17 seconds before Slaughterhouse, which is considered harder to this day. So there's an argument to be made that Firework is actually top 1 for 17 seconds, although it was never placed at number 1 on the demon list, as Slaughterhouse and Firework were placed at the same time at number 1 and number 2 respectively. There's still an ongoing debate as to if Firework was technically top 1 or not, with a rather equal split going both ways. However, due to SpeedTK's recent hacking spree, which included the verification of Slaughterhouse, Firework was the hardest legitimately verified level, meaning that if Space never hacked verified Slaughterhouse, Firework would have definitely been a number 1 demon, as the first legitimate completion of Slaughterhouse didn't come until December, two months after Firework, meaning Firework was robbed of a number 1 spot for as much as two months. We've talked about Firework and Slaughterhouse, but the final level in that rate wave was also robbed of a top 1 spot. We're talking about none other than Arcturus, which features extremely tough ship and wave gameplay, with a dual throne right in at the drop. The level was verified by Ultra Kawa on August 8th, 2021, and aimed to be the level to dethrone Tartarus for good. Despite the level being viewed as almost a unanimous top 1, there were a few problems with getting the level approved by Robtop. The level is only 1 minute in length, including black screens, making for only around 50 seconds of actual gameplay. Due to the short length, and the decoration falling short in some areas, Arcturus went unrated, much like Oblivion, although it had a much shorter period, only around 3 months, compared to the entire year-long drought that Oblivion was subject to. Not only that, when Arcturus was finally rated, it was placed all the way down at number 5, below Tartarus, so where's the Rob Top 1 in this? Tartarus was the hardest level and was verified, so why am I bringing this up? Well, Arcturus combines the story of Oblivion with that of Sonic Wave Infinity, where the level would sit below its competitor for months before the level would move above it. For the case of Arcturus, it would take 8 months after its original placement to be moved above its competitor, giving Arcturus the title of a Rob Top 1 like the level was rated just minutes earlier. The final victim of Tartarus' overhyped state at the number 1 spot is Hard Machine, which followed a similar path to True Effect, except that it is still above the level to this day. Hard Machine is an old level made several updates ago that was redecorated to be rate worthy today. It would be verified by Varium on August 17th of 2021, which was just 9 days after the verification of Arcturus. Unlike Arcturus, Hard Machine would receive a quick rate, and would soon start its history on the list. It started off being placed all the way down at number 5, right below Zodiac and the Golden, but would soon make a true fat like journey up the list, going above Sonic Red Infinity, and would then be moved up above Tartarus and Arcturus on June 3rd, 2022, going back up to number 4. Arcturus would later be moved above Hard Machine, but since it wasn't rated until October, over a month after Hard Machine was placed on the list, Hard Machine still holds the title of being a Rob Top 1 from Tartarus, making for 5 levels total that lost time at the number 1 spot, due to Tartarus' control over the list. There are two main levels that rob levels from the number 1 spot though, the first being, well, Tartarus obviously, and the other being Slaughterhouse. We've already discussed Firework's story, but there's still a couple more levels that were robbed of a potential spot at the throne. The next victim of Slaughterhouse's False Reign is Abyss of Darkness, a level that was in development for years, and was considered humanly impossible for the longest time, after an incredibly lengthy verification that would ultimately turn up into a race. Curse ended up verifying the level on April 3rd, 2022. The level ended up taking about a month and a half to be rated, but when it did, the level was placed at number 1 on the list, above Slaughterhouse. Wait a second, I just said that Slaughterhouse robbed the idea of the spot. Well, here's what I mean. When SpeedCK wasn't suspected of being a hacker yet, he had claimed Slaughterhouse to still be the hardest level in the game, even with AOD at the number 1 spot. However, Space would go on to hack to complete AOD, stating that the level should be number 2 or even number 3 on the list. Immediately following Space's opinion becoming public, AOD was moved down, out of the number 1 spot. Had it not been for Space coming in with its hack completions, it's very likely that Abyss of Darkness would not have been moved down below Slaughterhouse, and would have had a longer state than the number 1 demon, with Akron likely being the level to knock it off the top spot. While AOD is still below Slaughterhouse, it's plausible that the decision to move AOD down will be reversed in the near future, as Slaughterhouse has been following down the list recently. With all this said, however, there's one more final level, the most impactful case of a Rob Top 1 that has a massive impact on the level in question. When you think of Silent Club Step, you're likely to think of an impossible level that nobody would ever complete, or just Club Step without the music if you really did that. Well, if you think the former, Silent Club Step has been beaten, although it was done in a nerf form that just feels a bit weird, but it's close enough. Anyway, Silent Club Step was viewed by the community as an instant top 1, however, when played by top players, it told a different story, with some saying the level could even be below Firework, which was currently at number 4 on the list at the time. When the level was placed, it was so at number 4, above Firework, but below Sukupin Circles. After Akron's placement knocking it down to number 5, 
It seemed that Silent Collapse would never be considered a top one, leaving the community with a strange feeling that one of the hardest impossible levels of all time isn't even considered a top 3 demon today. However, there was hope, as Silent Collapse would be moved above the creeping circles in October. As the level hadn't received a victory in 3 months after Zoink steamrolled the level days after its placement, there was still a lot of room for more opinions to be considered, as neither opinion at the time was considered to be very reliable. However, with Doggy's 60 stream journey with the level, he stated that the level was harder than Slaughterhouse, being at the number 2 position just below Acheron. There was a chance that the level could move up, and several months later, following an MSG controversy, the community got their wish, immediately following the placement of Avernus, the new number 2 level, Southern Clubstep would move up to number 3, above Slaughterhouse, and still holds that position to this day.